Good morning, Gooba. I'm about to go into a yarn store. Guess what mask I'm going to wear? <laughs> that ought to be fun. Holy moly, Gooba. I'm just sitting here working when I glanced over my shoulder for no particular reason at where my project bags are hanging. Which there are, actually, there was a reason. I was going to find one of them that I want to finish something today. And I happened to notice this blackness at the edge of this new bag that I hadn't noticed before. And I opened it up and looked at it. And look what it says. I love you too. Oh my god, so much. What a nice surprise. And how fun right now to discover it. Thank you. Nice front yard in Sedona. Sedona, and a couple of weeks ago, when I was in Utah at Grossfinner Arch, I did like 25 miles of driving on washboard roads, and I think that's when I don't know if you can see it, but there is there is a bolt back there, a bracket and a bolt that my brother-in-law installed, there's three of them along the tops of my counter that hold the counters and the cabinets to the wall. And this bolt at the end here, I think from all the vibration, sheared off. And I, I got in touch with this guy, Joe, who's gonna help by, he has tools and he's a carpenter. So we're gonna take the countertop off, or he is, I'm gonna stay out of his way. Take the countertop off, replace that bolt, because it's the only way you can get to it, because as you can tell, it's very tight back in there. And then while he's at it, and that lid is off, what I asked him to do is, I took all the stuff out of my cabinets and all the shelves off, because the backs of these cabinets are, they're Ikea cabinets, so the backs are basically like thick cardboard, which would be fine if it was up against a flat wall like in a house but vans have curved walls, or at least this one does. I think most do. So over time, I mean, I'm not rough on my cabinets. I don't have them crammed full, but just over time, the back has just slightly bent out. And I thought, while well, the lid is off and we have access, take the cardboard thing out and replace it with a wood back. So I bought a four by eight yesterday and painted it and that was, that pretty much took up my whole van when it was stored in here. So anyway, this morning, Joe's coming over soon, and I have all, all of my possessions, other than what's under the bed, everything is loaded onto the dashboard, onto the driver's seat, and along the back of my sofa, so that the cabinet can be empty, so that Joe can do his thing. So this will be a fun day, and I'll be happy to get it taken care of. Here's a fun little serendipitous story. When Joe came over to work on my cabinet in the morning, he was wearing a obviously hand-knit hat, which I complimented, and he said he found it in a ditch somewhere <laughs> along the road. Then he had washed it and was wearing it, had been wearing it ever since. So I thought about it a bit, and the next day I asked him if he would be willing for it to be returned to the knitter if he or she could be found and if they wanted it to be. And he was like, sure, but I don't know if either of us thought that that was possible. 
So I went on Ravelry, and I knew the name of the pattern was Liguria. You helped me remember, Leah, because I had knitted a few years before. And I browsed the projects that were listed on Ravelry, and right there on the second page was this hat, pictured probably inside out, unshrunk lengthwise, because he had washed it and dried it in a machine, not knowing that it was real wool. So it was shorter now. And pictured from the other side, because brioche is reversible. But I sent a message to the, the knitter of that hat, and sure enough, it was her husband's hat, and he lost it. And she was happy that Joe was wearing it and could keep it with her blessing. And we had a great conversation, and everybody was delighted. And it was just a fun little serendipitous moment that who would have ever expected? What are the chances? So one of the ways that a nomad can get mail is with an Amazon order. If you order from Amazon, the lockers are in Whole Foods and then other places also. And you go to the locker that you sent your package to and you show it the barcode that's on your email and it pops open the locker. It's the right size for your package. And I have to stop video now so that I can get my package. Hang on. Alright, so this should be fun. Oh, I need two hands to open it. Hang on. Oh, look at colors. This yarn is what I used to make that mandala that I recently finished. And it is no longer, I hate all the plastic, but it is no longer available in the stores, but it's still available through Amazon, so... Ooh, yeah! So, I'm stocking up so that hopefully on the beach in Mexico this winter, there will be more mandalas made. I think that's the color of the one that I just recently did. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe not. Oh. And a rainbow. Eh, I don't know. That one's not my, not my style, not my colors, but maybe somebody else will like it. It'll be fun to see how it works up. Cheerful, for sure. Fun to play with, no, no question about that. I hate the plastic, but I'll reuse the bags at least. Stocking up for the winter. And thanks, Leah, for the Amazon Prime boost to save me the shipping and get it here quickly. This'll be fun.